I don't approve of the comments from last night. I thought that they were wrong and uh, extraordinarily unfortunate. It's just not right. I wish he hadn't have done it. Um, uh, just to say it's it's kind of appalling. Anything anybody says, any of us that say that may say something that you know accentuates the polarization is just not a good thing and not helpful. We just heard there from three key Republican senators, highly critical of President Trump, mocking Dr. Ford, some of them highly critical of President Trump on a good day. Their condemnation of the president comes as their votes are necessary to confirm his Supreme Court pick. And as that vote draws closer, members of the committee are publicly quibbling about whether they had previous concerns about Kavanaugh's past. The GOP-run Senate Judiciary Twitter account posted that nowhere in the previous six FBI background investigations, quote, was there ever a whiff of any issue at all related in any way to inappropriate sexual behavior or alcohol abuse. That prompted this rebuke from the Democrats, quote, we are compelled to state for the record that there is information in the second post that is not accurate. Well, joining us tonight, former U.S. Senator, former Secretary of State, former 2004 Democratic presidential nominee John Kerry, who also happens to be the author of a brand new book. It is called, as you can see there, Every Day is Extra. Uh, Mr. Secretary, your Senate years are just a, a portion of a long story that covers the width and breadth of your life. Um, so I'd like to start there. Has the Senate changed or have the senators changed since the time you served? The senators have changed far more than the Senate has changed. There have been some very minor rules changes, uh, a couple of things like the simple majority for the procedure on a, on a uh, to end the filibuster on a judicial nominee. But fundamentally, the people have changed, Brian, and it's, it's, it's for the worse. I mean, people could put in place a legitimate process that would guarantee that America would not be more divided in the end of this process than it was at the beginning, which is already bad. I think this is a very, very dangerous. Uh, it's obviously sad. It's unsettling, but it's also dangerous. It's dangerous for the Senate. It's dangerous for the country to accentuate the divisions that exist and to have a process which clearly will leave people untalked to who say they have something to add to this, to, to, to have kept Merrick Garland for 14 months from not only having a hearing, but not even having a meeting. And now they have to rush to do this vote. It is going to leave a scar. I know it's going to leave an open wound that's going to take a long time to heal. And, and I think when you hear those three senators say, oh, I, the president shouldn't have done that, or I'm disturbed by him saying it, that doesn't, that doesn't do it. You can't just say you're disturbed, you, you don't like it. There's a fundamental issue here of whether or not a woman who came forward, who everybody deemed credible, including President uh, Trump, is simply going to be cast aside in order to bum rush a nomination to change the court. And, and that will have a profound, long-term, lasting impact on the procedures, on the attitudes, on the approach of people uh, to their duties and to future choices. I think to... to, to, to to create that kind of uh, clearly questionable process is an enormous mistake. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.